Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, my short video lecture for chapter four. Um, not using the screen at the social science lab this time. I'm using a TV, so I'm not sure if this is going to come out better or worse, but we'll test it out. And uh, as I always say, you could load up um, these PowerPoints yourself and go through them at your own pace uh, while you're listening to me or while you're not. Okay, so um, let's get started. Oh, I love these pictures, though. Um, if you're just seeing the, the thin envelope of air above the Earth, it uh, you know, gives you a good image of kind of how, how much of a wisp it is, if you think about it. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's funny. It's cutting off the top of the uh, PowerPoint. Well, like I said, you can uh, read this on your own. So this is an image of the moon, and it gives you a good example of... Um, really how nice our atmosphere is because uh, not only does it block a lot of uh, the incoming solar radiation so we don't overheat um, but it also it's like a blanket right it can protect you from the heat and cold while also keeping you warmer or colder um, so for example on the moon during the day it reaches 400 degrees and at night uh, it gets 250 degrees below zero so pretty cold and uh, you know, the reason why you see all those craters on the moon is, well, not only is there no wind uh, to kind of smooth out things like uh, craters or meteors hit, but there's no atmosphere to burn out the meteors and things like that. So, all right. <clears throat> so composition of the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, in a nutshell, um, if you're looking at percent, you know, when people think of the atmosphere, they think of oxygen, they think of uh, carbon dioxide. Um, but as you can see, uh, nitrogen is almost 80% of our atmosphere. Uh, oxygen is uh, over 20%. Um, and you have argon, neon, helium, so on and so forth. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, another kind of interesting fact is the equation of photosynthesis. Um, it's a really simple equation if you think about it. Um, you have your water H2O plus your carbon dioxide CO2, right? Um, together. Right, you have the C and the H2O, and uh, it gives off free oxygen. So it's just, you know, in a nutshell, light energy and plants uh, make our make our air, um, our oxygen, oxygen that we breathe. Let's see if there's anything else of interest on here. Oh, you could read these things step by step. Um, oh, one thing to, to keep in mind, though, uh, you see ozone there is O3 compared to oxygen, which is O2. So ozone is really just oxygen um, but with three molecules or uh, three atoms of oxygen uh, together in one molecule whereas oxygen itself that we breathe is two kind of interesting <clears throat> so greenhouse gases things that 